This is quite an easy one. This just means that you haven't got enough voltage to power your heater. So you need to either start your engine, check your battery, or do something else that's going to increase the voltage. I can't tell you what to do because um, I don't know your situation, but normally you'll find if you get this error, start your engine or something like that, and um, the error should go away. All right, another easy one. This is a uh, high voltage. You'll probably never ever get this one because um, uh, well, unless of course you connect a, a 12 volt heater to a 24 volt supply, then you're going to get this error message. So just check that before you um, connect it. And if you are um, in a situation whereby you're putting a, a 12 volt heater onto a 24 volt situation, you need to stop pretty quick before you damage something. Right, this one comes up as uh, ignition plug fault, but what it actually means is it's a, a glow plug failure or a connection to the glow plug has failed. So you need to um, open up your heater, check the wiring, if necessary, take the glow plug out, have a look at that, see if it's faulty. If it is, you need to replace it. I'll put a link in the description, which will uh, lead you to a video on how to change the glow plug. It's fairly straightforward, shouldn't take you more than about half an hour if you've already got one. Right, this one is a um, fuel pump. It's a fault on the fuel pump. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean there is a fault on the fuel pump. It could be that um, there's a fault on the fuel line which isn't making the fuel pump work correctly. It could be a bad connection. So realistically you need to just um, pull the fuel pump out have a look at it, check the connections to the fuel pump, make sure you've got power to the fuel pump. If you've got power to the fuel pump and it's not working, then it's a good chance the fuel pump has failed and you'll need to get a replacement. Right, this is um, suggesting that your heater is overheating. Now, it may be overheating, it may not be overheating. The first thing you need to check is the uh, a heat sensor which is um, indicated in the picture it's on the top of the uh, casting so if you take the lid off as if you're going to replace the glow plug then you'll be able to see the heat sensor um, just check the wiring to that it could be just a wiring fault um, you'll soon know if it's if it's overheating badly then the heat sensor will be melted it'll melt and if that's melted, you're going to have to strip the heater down and have a look inside, see what's causing the overheating. Um, it's most likely um, getting too much uh, air and too much diesel. But I'll put a link in the description to my uh, complete overhaul and uh, strip down video. Um, you, that shows you how to take it apart so you can check that one out. Right, this one comes up as a motor fault, but what that actually means is it's a fan fault. Now the most likely cause is the little box that goes on top that you um, have to remove. It's the little control board inside is either too close or too far away from the fan, which means the sensor, which I'm indicating in these pictures, is not close enough to the fan to pick up the fan rotation so that the it might be spinning, but um, because it's not picking up the rotation, the heater thinks it's not working. So try adjusting where, you know, the position of the sensor relative to the fan on the front. Make sure that the, the gap is not too big and not too small. If it's too small, you'll know because it's hitting. Um, if that doesn't work, then just unplug the fan, test the fan, see if it's spinning. If it's spinning without, uh, being connected to the heater then there's no fault on the fan it's most likely the fault that I've just described right this one comes up as a broken connection now what that means is there's likely to be a fault on the harness somewhere maybe a plug has come loose so you need to go round your harness check all of your plugs make sure they're all incorrect including the ones 
that are on the control board inside the heater just go around all of your plugs make sure you've got a good connection make sure they're not clean in particular the one that goes to the pump if that's on the outside and gets water and muck and everything on it or any of the connections that are on the outside of your vehicle that get dirty they're the ones which are most likely have corroded and failed so that's what this code means right this is an odd one um, it means that the uh, the flame has gone out on the heater or it's failed to light which um, could be several things it could be that your glow plug has failed if it's failing to light um, it doesn't necessarily have to be error 03 for the glow plug fault it could be error 8 if um, it's failed to light they might throw up an error 8 there are other reasons if your heater has been running fine all of a sudden it stops the chances are you've run out of fuel or there's a fuel blockage so you need to check your fuel line so they're the most the two most common causes of this uh, error 08 is glow plug failure if it fails to light and you get an error 8 they're a bit um, funny these heaters they sometimes throw up not necessarily the right error for the right problem so it's probably glow plug or no fuel um, so go back and check your pump and your fuel line make sure you've got no problems there if you've got fuel delivery then it and it won't relight the chances are it's your glow plug right this is a uh, sensor fault now when they say a sensor fault this is actually more or less the same error as error 05 it's your heat sensor only this one is not saying it's overheating what it's saying is the sensor is no longer working it's not getting a reading from the sensor so just take the top off your heater check the plug is in properly make sure the sensor hasn't burnt out or the contacts haven't corroded away if they have just get yourself a new sensor uh, they're cheap enough um, and if you need to replace them have a look at uh, my video on the strip down and the rebuild the link is in the description and that'll show you how to change the sensor it's really simple they just unclip and uh, the plug goes into the control board and that's it it's just a very simple thing um, that's not a very common error that's quite a rare error so hopefully you won't get it right this one is um, most likely fuel just check that you're getting fuel all the way up to the heater your fuel pump is working what it means is that it's it's failing to light so it's most likely fuel but of course it could be E03 which is the glow plug failure if it's failing to light but I would check the fuel line first if not check that you've got the correct voltage so it could also be E01 of low voltage make sure you've got the correct voltage and when you switch your heater on just keep an eye on the voltage if it instantly drops down to something really low below sort of 11.5 something like that then your heat is not going to light and failing that if your voltage is good you've got good fuel then just check your glow plug which is E03 all of these are covered in two videos which I've linked in the description I hope this video has helped you out with um, solving a few of your problems if it hasn't and you've got anything that's not covered in this video then uh, just leave a comment or you know ask a question I'll uh, see if I can help you I might be able to I might not but I'll do my best if I can so thanks for watching and if you like the video please click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want future updates and that will help me to keep making these uh, videos